Not a lot of movement on Wall Street today. The Dow finished up 15 points to close at 18,144. The Nasdaq was down seven points to finish at 5239, and the S&P 500 was up two and a half points to end at 2139. Market analysis tonight. Megan Higgins is from Advisor Investments in Newton, Massachusetts. Hi, Megan. Hi, Mike. So we were mixed today. Uh, what was driving the numbers? Well, Mike, I think what was priced in today was the fact that we received earnings from Alcoa. They kicked off third quarter earnings season. The results were pretty low, and I think that's going to translate in investor expectations for how the quarter is going to go as far as earnings concerned. Uh, that being said, today the main focus was on Fed minutes, and it offered few new insights about the direction of interest rate increases. And today was all about yield-hungry investors that drove the markets, with real estate stocks and utilities driving the charge. All right, let's go back to those Fed minutes for a, min for a minute. Uh, you said that there was uh, few new insights. What did they say at all? I mean, what were, what were the insights that we did learn? Well, what we learned is the majority of Fed officials did agree that there should be a rate increase at least once before the year is over. However, camps were divided. For example, Boston Fed President Eric Rosengren was among the camp that was against the September decision to hold rate steady. While one camp argued that the labor market still has room to improve, the other camp was concerned that the labor market could get too tight and drive up inflation higher than the Fed's target. So the Fed still has two more meetings left for the year, in November and December, and that decision will likely be made after the presidential election. After the election. All right, we'll see what they do. The railroad operator CSX reported third quarter earnings today. How did CSX do? They had a great third quarter. They beat in terms of revenue and earnings. Um, however, their coal shipments took a big decline of 21%. That's a big segment of their business. And coal shipments declined pr primarily due to an oversupply in the overall world market, as well as currency headwinds with a strong U.S. dollar and natural gas becoming a cheaper alternative. Uh, CSX did beat Wall Street expectations by tightening their belt with expenses, and their stock was up over 2% in aftermarket trading today. Hmm, all right. We also got the JOLTS report today. That's a real good snapshot of job openings and labor turnover. What did you see there? That report signals the trend in the U.S. in terms of hiring, firing, and jobs. And what we saw there is the only big change was a drop in the number of job openings fell slightly from 5.4 million, um, from 5.8 million to 5.4 million for the month of August. But the drop can be contributed to a decline in professional and business services. That would be a worrisome sign if that continued, but the recent trend shows that the numbers in those markets particularly have been at record levels, so mm. no concerns there. All right, let's look ahead to tomorrow. Megan, what are you looking for tomorrow? Tomorrow we'll get a read on weekly jobless claims. We'll also be getting import price index as well as earnings from Delta. We'll look for all of that tomorrow. Megan Higgins of Advisor Investments, Newton, Massachusetts. Thanks as always. Thanks, Mike.